Hello guys and welcome on the flight field. It's really hot. Really happy with how the dolphin flies now. Even though the wing tips are a bit chewed up. This thing here helps against stalls. So it's a bit more affected by stalling. So let me know in the comments. Did you have experience with broken wing tips? How much do they affect the, yeah, the flight characteristics of this plane? I flew the Dolphin a lot this year. Initially it worked great, then I had some troubles with the motor, like it burned out during flight. So I tried a few different motors that I had already, mainly drone motors. Yeah, the stock motor is a 2306 1700 kV. It has a thrust of 1.3 kilograms, only weighs around 7 to 800 grams in my configuration, so good uh, power to weight ratio. A Viking motor that, that burned out even faster, it was a 2206 2600 kV. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, I want to shout out to Aitaye, I hope this is pronounced correctly. Uh, he gave me some nice tips to go with the T-Motor and that's what I ended up using. My friends even used the T-Motor F100, it's a bit stronger even, but yeah, maybe overpowered and they use a very large folding prop. The T-Motor F90 with 1500 kV and a 7x4.2 biplate, 2600 four cell LiPo. For me it's the best combination, a new ESC, it's a 35 amps. ESC that can also handle 6S. Yes. Plenty of power to be had with 4 cell and motor is cool enough. With the larger diameter props, with the 7 or 6 inch props, you have enough initial thrust so that the auto launches work nice. Of course, with 6 cells, you cannot stay on the 7x4.2. 6x4x3 by by blades and this motor it actually stalled about 80% of throttle. Yeah. It went crazy and that was also the reason that I only had like 100 kph with the 6 cells and this prop. I can reach up to 150 kph of 3D speed, not just ground speed, uh, 3D speed. I changed that in the OSD and that's, that's plenty. On higher speeds nonetheless the plane gets a bit shaky so like 100 to 120, 130, it, it feels quite nice. Cruising uh, is totally fine with 70 kph and like only four or maximum five amps, which is really cool. If you're planning to build this without the electronics, yeah, I can definitely suggest the T-Motor F90 kV, uh, 1500 kV combination. I still struggle with the cooling, even if it overheats in the air. Firstly, it stops recording to take some of the processing load off the chip. But the video connection doesn't drop immediately. It tries to hold up as long as it can. As soon as I landed and the gyro data was zero, so no movement, it decided to shut down now and cool down. So that's a really well thought out scenario. You really don't want your air unit to shut down in mid-air, but nonetheless, if you get this little red warning, air unit overheating, you should land. And I should have started, like TJ told me, go and install a little PC fan on top of this. And I will probably do so to have this better cooled because yeah, it gets, it doesn't complain in the OSD anymore. It gets so hot that you cannot keep your fingers on it. My antenna placement is not the best, but it's convenient. And I, <laughs> I see now, this one is bent 
in one direction and this one is bent in the other direction. What's going on there? Maybe it was the last flight where I flew quite fast and tried to see if, if my pits uh, work actually now. Don't make the, the error to raise the P level quite high because you think it then stabilizes better in the wind. It doesn't, it just makes it more shaky. So I went back to uh, those values. Here's another shout out to Zaxter Blue. Uh, I found his video searching for dolphin pit tuning and his settings uh, worked quite nice. He compared having P on the roll axis on five versus four and even that little change made some difference between his dolphin and his buddy's dolphin. Uh, he was aiming of course not for the snappiest flight but for the smoothest and yeah that's what I wanted as well. My roll was uh, on P as high as 18 which is crazy I don't know why I did it and now I'm back to four for the P, 12 I and 6 on D with a feed forward of 46. Feed forward should be the only thing that INAV tunes for you in altitude. And on my pitch axis I have P of 15, I 20 and D on 5. And the feed forward I reduced it to 190, I hit it to 240. I set the gyro hardware LPF to 20, which was on 25. Going lower means more filtering on the gyro data, less snappy but smoother. These settings, I tried them today, uh, they, they are quite nice. Dolphin, great FPV plane. If you have some questions regarding the Dolphin, leave them in the comment. Check out my Dolphin review. Just check out my fixed wing videos from this year where the Dolphin was featured quite often. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.